In some breaking news at this hour, now the BJP has alleged that there is a link between a Soros aide and Rahul Gandhi. BJP has said that an aide of Soros walked with Rahul Gandhi in the Bharat Jodo Yatra and he goes by the name of Salil Shetty, who in fact serves as the vice president of an NGO that's been run by George Soros. So the allegations uh, vis-a-vis George Soros are many. BJP, of course, is not willing to relent when it comes to uh, how he is an anti-India beta. Now they have dug up some sort of a link between an aide of Soros and Rahul Gandhi. And they are claiming that uh, Salil Shetty, who is the vice president of an NGO that, for, uh, that has an association with Soros, in fact, was also part of the Bharat Jodo Yatra along with Rahul Gandhi. Taking this across to my colleague Pallavi for more. Pallavi, isn't this a very far-fetched link? Well, I mean, as far as the JP is concerned, according to them, this just goes on to show that George Soros has deep connections with the Congress party and there are many leaders who were a part of the Bharat Joro Yatra and the entire idea of the Yatra was to try and unite the country. That gets completely decimated because if you're hobnobbing with a person who is that very clear in Andy India beta and who's anticipated are such where he seems to be supporting a kind of a divisive uh, uh, you know, narrative, then how can Rahul Gandhi make a claim of trying to unite the country through love and through an idea of one India? So that's, you know, BJP, frankly speaking, as a political party, would want to attack the Congress party from it. Because there are some leaders of the Congress party who, despite an official line, which is very different, seem to be supporting what George Soros has been saying. However, the point over here is what Congress top sources are telling me is in their response to this allegation coming in from the BJP is that so what? The Prime Minister also has been seen with many of the people, for example, like Gautam Adani. Hmm. You don't want to draw a connection there, so I do have a problem with this one. Right. In fact, I, I was just about to ask you this very considering uh, when Rahul Gandhi made that speech in the parliament, uh, those. those question to you. When Rahul Gandhi questioned the association between Gautam Adani and uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, those portions of the speech were expunged by the Speaker. However, these allegations that you are making at the Congress, how does this justify anything? Because one is substantiated by facts and the other is just rhetoric and even Rahul Gandhi has got a hard one from the Supreme Court when he lied about things in the Rafal matter. But let me tell you what we have just put out right now. The fact of the matter is that despite Jairam Ramesh trying to distance himself from the George Soros statement, which is objectionable and completely infuriating as an Indian, you have Praveen Chakravarti of the Congress, a very tall leader, and Pallavi will tell you that, has also tweeted and amplified that propaganda. And now you have Salil Shetty. Now, who is Salil Shetty? Please find out. Don't rely on me. He is a part of the NGO funded by George Soros with his insidious intentions and he is seen as part of Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Badnam Karo Yatra. Now Rahul Gandhi should come and explain but I like Jairam Ramesh's fact that he likes to give new movie titles so I have one for him. Ye rishta kya kehlata hai. But Shahzad, he Shahzad, was... Ridma here and we continue to stay with this big story but Shahzad, here the counter can also come in from the Congress party and this is something that we've heard from them in the past as well that people who joined the Bharat Jodo Yatra were not invited by the Congress party. Many people across the country wanted to join in this Yatra and they did. They were definitely screened and they were taken to Rahul Gandhi only after the ascent and the ascension of Rahul Gandhi and the coterie of Rahul Gandhi who was organizing the Bharat Jodo Yatra. Therefore, Medha Patkar, George Ponaya, Kanaya Kumar, all these worthies were there walking alongside Rahul Gandhi. But point I am trying to make is only one. That A, Mr. Jairam Ramesh, please tell us what is the rishta you have with this Salil Shetty person who works with the NGO of George Soros. Two, Forget that also. Praveen Chakravarti has amplified that statement of George Soros, which demeans and uh, demonizes and destabilizes our democracy or attempts to do that. Do you stand with it? If you don't stand with it, what action will you take on Praveen, Praveen Chakravarti? From Salil to Praveen, is it Congress ka haat Soros ke saath? Are you a vector of George Soros's insidious agenda? Because you hate one person, Modi ji, so much that you start hating India. So that is the simple question. And in terms of Jairam Ramesh's lingo, हम साथ साथ है क्या ये रिश्ता क्या कहलाता है जयराम जी जरा बताइए तो ओके शहजाद वी लीड द कॉन्वर्सेशन देयर वी विल टेक ऑल दोस क्वेश्चंस व्हेन वी हैव अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी बट दैट्स द बिग स्टोरी दैट वी कंटिन्यू टू ट्रैक योर इन सीन इन न्यूज़ 18 व्हेयर द बीजेपी इज नाउ अलेजिंग दैट देयर इज अ लिंक बिटवीन अ सोरोस एड and the Bharat Jodo Yatra and Rahul Gandhi. Look at the pictures that we're putting out. This has in fact been tweeted 
by the BJP. The BJP is saying that an aide of George Soros walked with Rahul Gandhi as part of the Bharat Jodo Yatra. Salil Shetty, who served as the VP of an NGO, is run by George Soros. Those are the allegations that are coming in from the BJP. Before we go back to our colleagues, let's listen in to some other political reactions. George Soros, an international entrepreneur who hedges bets against many a countries, has now declared his ill intentions to intervene in the democratic processes of India. Such is a time where the imperialistic intentions of an entrepreneur come to light. Brings an onslaught to the economy of India all so that he can personally, those who support Mr. Soros need to know that democracy has prevailed in India and will continue to do so. देखिए ये ये हो गया कि कोई खानदान परिवार का एक लड़का गलत रास्ते जाता है और कोई उसको टोकता है तो कहता है कि देखो मेरा खानदान बदनाम हो गया अरे भाई तू गलत करता है तो तुझे कोई भी टोकेगा अगर आपके खिलाफ गलत टिप्पणी है आपको गलत तरीके से रोका गया है तो क्या रास्ता होता है और आज अगर मोदी जी के खिलाफ कुछ भी होता है तो आप जांच से क्यों डरते हो वो सिर्फ भाजपा के नहीं मेरे भी प्रधानमंत्री है शक दुनिया में उठा है तो जांच करवाओ और अगर आप पाक साफ हो आपका सब चंगा सी अगर आपका अंदर कोई गलती नहीं है तो आपकी छवि और मजबूत होगी क्यों डर रहे हो so the political face off as far as george soros is concerned that is only escalating after we heard smriti irani in that press conference earlier in the day hit out at george soros and the narrative that is being peddled across the country now the bjp is alleging that there is a congress link as an aide of george soros was in fact seen walking next to rahul gandhi in the bharat jodo yatra let's bring in our colleague and senior editor pallavi ghosh who in fact has been tracking all those developments for us pallavi this is only escalating with each passing hour now the bjp is putting out pictures and they're alleging that an aide of george soros in fact walked with rahul gandhi in the bharat jodo yatra alleging that what george soros represents is exactly the narrative of the congress party So Salil Shetty is a person who is being cited, and in fact, if you look at those pictures, he can be seen walking along with Rahul Gandhi at the Bharat Jodo Yatra. Salil Shetty is actually a, a social activist; that is, that's what he calls himself. He's also a member of the Open Society Foundation, which is linked to George Soros. So, what the BJP is then alleging is that look at the Bharat Jodo Yatra. The entire narrative has always been divisive and negative in nature. And while it is okay to ask questions to the government and demanding some answers. but you should not ever seek support of those global forces who are clearly anti india and most probably playing into the hands of india's overseas enemies like china or pakistan for that we seem to have lost that connection with pal